Thank you, my dear. I'm I'm gonna need luck, patience. I'm gonna need a lot of things in this stream. You know. When we did this the first time, I promised myself I would never listen to this sound again. Ever. That this was just banned. I'm gonna turn up a little bit actually. It's a little bit quiet here. Let me uh, let me try this again. It's hard to balance the audio correctly. Let me uh let me run through this again. This might be a little 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 better. That's probably about right. So yeah. I had promised myself back in two thousand 16, I think it was. 17? Maybe later than that. Probably was later than that, actually. Do it on Twitch. Probably about 2019. I promised I would never listen to this again. And that we would never venture into this game ever again. I lied. I lied. But only for a significant sum of money did I return back to this. A significant amount of money that paid for this chair other chair brands. But yes, we are back to the world that is Resident Evil Gaiden for the Game Boy Advance circa way too many years ago. And we are here for one reason, one reason only, and that is for pain and misery. As we look to see if it is possible to beat this game with base handgun only end the night. I legitimately don't think this is doable, but we've achieved some pretty amazing things over the course of this channel's lifetime. And I would venture if we actually succeeded, this might be one of the greatest achievements I've ever had in my life on this channel. And that's not even a joke. I legitimately- Oh, it's Game Boy Color, not even Game Boy Advance. <laughs> So yeah, the rules are, as I've stated, we will not be allowed to use any weapons outside of the base handgun and the knife. Which means that combat is going to suck. If you fail, you, well, you better get that game booted, man. <laughs> Let's get something done, shall we? In an effort to put a stop to the global operations of the evil corporate entity, Umbrella Farm School Incorporated. Just gonna move my screen slightly. There we go. So I can see them a bit better. An underground organization was formed. This organization consisted of former stars members and <laughs> doing a lot. Thank you. And ex Umbrella employees. Somewhere in North America, you know, pretty vague. At this underground organization's hideout, which is not underground at all. It's like a nightmare. It's like a nightmare coming back to life. Repressed memories which I thought I had left in the dark. A new type of bioorganic weapon developed at Umbrella's labs have escaped! Even though it should not exist at this point, but we're gonna ignore that plot point. This BOW is believed to be among the passengers of the luxury ocean cruiser, the Starlight. How do they know this? It's never explained. The new BOW is an extremely dangerous creature, even in its human form. Leon S. Candy of Raccoon City Police Department was tracking the BOW. Also, I don't know why there's some slight visual artifacting going on, but we have now lost contact with it. His last report came in at over 24 hours ago. So our objective, should we choose to accept it, which I have to because I took $500, is to locate Leon S. Candy and eliminate the BOW. We shall enter via Chopper, which is flying in the rain! And the Starlight currently cruising. I'm sorry if you're ahead. I needed to point this out. We shall extract via helicopter deployed on receipt of radio transmission. That was the deal. It's thundering for God's sakes. Already furious. We haven't even done anything yet. Oh. 
Oh, it's all coming back to me. I've not even done anything yet. I've already feared it. What do you want? You are now on the side deck in 2F. Make your way west to the lobby and enter the ship. Look for useful items along the way. They may be hidden in boxes or other containers. Your little icon will show when an item is nearby. You can pick this up. You can then pick this item up. Good luck, Barry. Over and out. <sighs> so. Okay. Let's, let's take a brief on our situation. So we have a few items available to us. We have our knife. This is going to have to be one of our primary weapons of the game. There is a problem with this game. Unlike other games where I've done base handgun runs, like Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, you can manipulate the system a little bit so that you get the ammo you're looking for more often than not, if not almost exclusively. This is Resident Evil Gaiden. It's not going to have that kind of complexity. So we're going to have to use our knife because we will not get much ammo for this. The trusty handgun, a standard issue combat arsenal, is an aim but inflicts low damage. Does it, does it, does. We have our PDA as well, which will be containing all information messages that we accrued across the run. Is our map. This is where we are currently on the side deck. Could do a little bit of exploring around here, playing as uh, the titular Mr. Barry. This door is locked out, but we cannot enter it. Thankfully, I kind of half remember our controls. Uh, but yeah, we can come out here into the uh, the front, which is cool. I don't think we can actually do anything out here at the moment, but it is a place that's available, so that's nice. Yeah, it's all locked here. Thank you, Busting. I, I'm going to need all of the emotional support that you guys are willing to offer me today. This is going to be a difficult one. You have an item! We are hang on round! Alright, we'll take them. Bear in mind, of course, we're going to need to hog as much ammo as we can physically muster. Because, again, we can't use anything else. We might as well get our freaking knife out here. I don't recall how combat works particularly well. It must be stated. Nor do I remember much about how to beat this game, so that's not going to help in this run. God. Well, thank you, mysterious stranger. There's no, makes no sense at all. At least the hang of the, oh, that's a one advantage. Okay, great. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. We're in a weird situation that we need to try and avoid combat as much as physically possible. But it's going to be difficult because there are key items hidden on enemies that we have to kill. I don't know how we can do this. We'll have to investigate. We got some yellow herbs. We we'll restore medium health. Yes, because simply, you know, attacking them is not good enough. When target is activated, you can aim at these hostiles. The site will indicate when hostile is in range. When you're about to fire your weapon, the target is aligned to the hostile to be hit. Remember that your weapons are less effective at greater That's not going to be a problem in this room. Caution recommended though, avoid conflict if you can. Bad things have occurred in this place. Very bad things. So! So, one of the problems we have is there are enemies all over the joint. And this is, of course, an issue. Now, we're going to quickly remind ourselves, uh, as I put down a handy, sandy save state here. We're going to remind ourselves how combat works. So this means, ooh, there might be something interesting on this dude, and we are going to have to engage in combat. So this is how it works. You have to press on, like, the marker here to try and get the damage in. 
There we go, and he's dead. Now, the knife against single enemies is not the worst in the world. But against groups, we're going to be in huge trouble. We have to basically knife everything for the time being. Son of a... Well, he's not... He's still not dead. Damn. Ow. I just took so much damage there. I just lost, like, half my... Half my life bar there. Christ. A reminder that you have three health bars in this game. Um, I believe it is. Uh, I think that's how it works. You have three health bars, so... That looks, like, pretty painful. It's not too bad. Knife crits are pretty good, but we have to land them. When you run away in battle, you must fire your weapon and hit the target in the middle. Zombies will try hard to hit you whilst you are running away. So you gotta be careful about that. We will have to occasionally retreat from combat. We will not be able to fight everything. But we need to practice currently. Now, the problem you've also got to do is you've got to make sure, at least for us, that as we're fighting here, we need to try and single out these enemies. If we, um, if we end up getting into combat with, with groups of enemies... Fuck. You've got to make sure you get that targeter going as well. Like, you've got to contact so you don't take uh, instant hits here. It's pretty brutal. There we go. So he's just a little reminder of how, how the combo is. But yeah, the crit damage is decent, but that's literally about the only good thing I can say. So yeah, so you see here, for example, although we're hitting, it's not close enough to actually hit here. So we're just going to swing until it gets close enough. There we go. Ow. But you can see already the problems we're going to have in this game. Combat is going to be nigh impossible. Consistently. Now, can we lure this dude without tight? Ah, shit, the other, one's, the other one's getting interested. Fuck. Okay, we're going to have to take them both on here. Alright. Ah, shit. And you can see the problems here. It's already happening. Just wait for it. You might be dead here, everyone. Oh, he missed! Ooh. There is a couple of graphical glitches occurring. I do I do accept this. They are happening. Some yellow herbs there. This game is being slightly funky at the moment. I don't know if there's much I can do about it. But yeah, this happened in the original run as well. There was some graphical glitching. It's freaking... How old this game is? Come on. <laughs> Thanks. Low expectations. So yeah, Yellow Herbs heal a decent amount. We're going to need help. Alright, can't go in there. So we're going to need to explore around here and work out where we can and can't go. Can't head this way. In which is the security room on the fourth floor. So the elevator's to the west. Which you can find Leon with the cameras. Okay. Look out for herbs you pick up. These are wounded. These will recover lost health. So zombies, they sometimes be carrying herbs and other useful items. Yes, if you dare fight them, which is his own problem. I'm not even considering that at the moment. I, I'm kind of curious to see how far we can actually venture into this game. It's so difficult because, like, the handgun is so useful early on, but I basically can't consider using it because we need to conserve our ammo for later on in the game. So we basically are forced to knife everything to start with. We have situations like there where we kind of need to try and get past. Here's the coolant fuse, by the way. This is something we'll need for the refrigerator in the first floor. But yeah, it's, the problem is when we get into groups of enemies, that's a real issue here. And trying to, like, get around enemies is difficult, as you can see. Ow. There we go. So, like here, for example, we could get out the handgun. And we can shoot. But we need to try and probably save ammo where possible. Is the issue. I don't know how much handgun ammo there is in the game. The problem is it's going to be look very false because to start off with, we're going to get lots of ammo for the handgun. Suspicious. I do damn it have something. But you see the problem here starting to occur. He's trying to kill me. Ow. 
But of course, because the problem is over, because when we're walking around with the knife, our targeting indicator is like absolutely tiny. Because we can only aim so far, because we have a knife now. If we had the, uh, the handgun, for example, we can still aim at least a bit of distance here. Which is better than nothing here. Even though we can't really fight them particularly, but we can still get involved if we want to. We have to be so protective of our ammo as well. And so it begins. And so it begins. This is the issue we've got as well. Yeah, yeah that's what we're going to probably have to do. Use the handgun to, tr to trigger the fights long range and take the knife out. Might be the safe things for us to do. I'm undecided. I'm very, very undecided. Anyways, so we do need to heal ourselves. Let's go ahead and use the greens. Right. But yeah, this is the issue where you have to stop. Like, again, I don't know. And then he just gets back up. He's like, ha ha, lol. Piece of trash. But I don't know necessarily what I need to use for, um... What needs to be used for, uh... Like, what items have... I have no idea what enemies have what items is the problem. There we go. Okay, good. But this is a problem that's going to gradually occur more and more, is that it's hard for us to fight and not take damage, is the issue. We need to, um... Shotgun shells there. We need to, we need to, if we could like consistently fight without taking damage, I feel a lot happier about my life, but we can't. We just, it's just not an option, so. Yeah, I think it's probably a better idea in the long run, but we'll see. My gun rounds there, good. Okay, starting to find a bit of a stack of them. There's a dude there. Don't really want to fight him if I don't have to. Uh. Well, let's have to do. Get him. Lady on the right here. I kind of want to fight uh, with the gun here. Again, we've got to save our ammo. We've no choice here. She will slowly approach. I think the, uh, the ladies in blue have, don't have a lot of health anyways. There we go. Alright, not too bad. We've got some purple herbs. Um, cancers up poison and restores everything. Yes, poison's a thing in this game, because of course it is. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I think she's dead. Good, more we'll hanging around, nice. Okay, so we're finding, finding some goods here so far. We're up to 76 rounds, not bad. I'll be honest, I have no idea if there's a maximum capacity for a gun in this game. It's not a question I can answer. Yes, we do get our armor very soon. Um, that's very important for us. Right, I think this dude has a key on him. So we are going to engage in some fisticuffs here. One. Come on. I dare you. Get him. Nice. He missed. There we go. Here's the key to get to the elevators on the west side of the ship. Very good. Hang on rounds in the pot here. I have to get I have no memories of what anything is, so we're kind of like on explore as we go. Here's the shotgun, everyone. We can't use it, but we've got it, so I guess that's nice. What it's doing there, I don't know, but I hope. I don't want to get down there. I don't know if it's worth it. But I am worried that there's a 99 cap on our handgun rounds in this game. That's a significant concern. Which means we might have to use some. 
We must get into a situation. We might have to start remembering where some of this is and get it later in the game. Now, we can explore this ship as we go through, so. We have options. Escape from the zombie's grass. Struggle by trying to move. Whatever exactly that means, I don't even quite remember. I can't get any of this. It's all locked. Fine. Well, this man had a bad day. Here's some shotgun shells. I guess that's nice. Hmm. Now, we have the elevator one key. Do we not use it here? Thank you. Alright, so that gives us access to the elevator. This is very, very good. We have saved. We should probably save again. I mean, yes, but it's still great. So, we have some options. We can't go down. We can go up. So, we should do that. Now, if we are downwards, we can actually aim soon enough with the knife that we can engage in combat before we um, get into real problems here. Just gotta wait patiently and wait. Here we go. Fuck. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Right. But yeah, so like here, for example, as long as we're quick, we can get into the fight before they're in range to hit us. Which is what we want as the knife here. This is very useful. This is good for us. Just gotta hold tight and wait. I kinda wish the, the uh, HUD wouldn't flesh like that, but like, it's gonna do that. Okay, there we go. He is down. Whoa! That's not right. Oh, son of a... Fine. 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 You die, please. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, so here's another elevator. This takes us down to this side of things. Takes us to here. Okay, I didn't actually realize I could come up that side as well. I'd completely forgotten. Yeah, I know, right? It, it does have that kind of very, you know, it's all about finesse and just timing. You're very, tr very true there. That dude has a thing on him. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. But again, the issue is I don't know what who has what. This is the issue. Like, this guy can have a key iron on him. He might have ammo for a gun I can't use. I did legit do not know. This is the issue. Do I not have any health? Oh, I don't. Eat some yellow herbs here, but... We need to get armor ASAP. There we go. Yeah, anger. Let's go. That was kind of worth it. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Let's take us out to the deck and... Oh, boy. we got the crowbar dudes. Now, these guys are dangerous. These guys, very fearsome. And we need to find a key for the damn thing anyway. So, yeah, these guys are incredibly dangerous. Look at him go. I'm not sure we can justify knifing these guys right now. I think we have to shoot them. It is night night. I have a funny feeling it was. So, these guys, we have no ammo or no armor. We gotta shoot them. I don't think it's worth risking. Ah, oh, shit. We have green herbs on him. Let's try and get around him here. Yes, I know. Yes, because of course, like, the, the passengers had titanium armor on them. That they just so happened to fucking bring on this damn ship. Of course they fucking did. But yeah, we gotta shoot these guys. There's, there's just... I don't see what's going on here. There we go. Good shooting. Shotgun shells, no good. Yeah, if there's, if there's enemies that don't have items on them, we just automatically will not fight. There's just no reason to. We've got to pick and choose here. It's 
zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Oh shit, his friend's coming. This is a problem. We probably would have had to have fought him anyways. I missed. Okay, he's down. Let him get a little closer. Well, I mean, it should be useful. There's armor on the deck chest, though? Possibly. It's hard to know, because, again, the game doesn't tell you anything. And it does hide some items in some weird places. Ooh, I found a Kevlar vest! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, good. Good grief, almighty. Well, we found some Kevlar, so that's good. In light armor will help reduce in damage inflicted upon us. Better than nothing. We'll take it. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're something. But we have some Kevlar, so that's good. We have, um, you know, yeah, typical, your standard sunbathing attire. You know, pretty, pretty usual. We'll take it. Right, let's keep exploring around. Again, if he doesn't have a, if he doesn't have an item on him, we're not interested. We are going to have to maneuver around. Oh my god! If this goes wrong, this could be end of game. Holy shit! Oh, go around the outside. Yes. That was uncomfortable. Well, she's she's fairly dead. Here's the pool. What's left of it? So dumb. Alright, I'm gonna try and go around here. I think this is the security office? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so my god. Ah. Uh, this, this could be worse, but we're not doing too bad so far, which is a miracle. We are going to have to engage in combat here. Get up! Fight! Shit. Ow. But we didn't take as much damage because we have the armor, so that helps a little bit. Yeah, I believe so, but, uh, well, she did not poison us that we are no noble of, so that's good. So we have 95 rounds, so we are going to need to probably um, monitor this. Try and get around it here. Fuck's sake. Go! Yeah! Alright! Nice dodge! Look at your ego! Just a little bit of maneuvering around. Very nice! Very nice! Hello, you might have what I need. Get back here! Shit. Okay, push her off, that's fine. Got some distance. I dare you! I double dare you! There you go. Get up! She missed! Nice! I don't know how the odds are for like when they hit or miss. Some yellow herbs, okay then. That's not what I was thinking she'd have there. Shit, it's more problems. Right, we need to again make sure we fight one at a time here. She's getting stuck on the uh, the life raft, poor lady. Ow. So this is where we're gonna have problems here. We now need to learn what enemies have what items, which is kind of impossible. Because we're in this weird spot of like, I don't want to use the handgun ammo, I want to keep it for later. But we also need to like, build up our health reserves. So I suppose just using the gun is not the worst here. Can you get a little closer please? Lady, I can't thank you. It's what it is. Yeah, I know. It's, it's uh, hard to find the middle. Now, I'm happy to shoot from mid-distance here with the handgun. I think this is totally fine and acceptable. Ah, 
there we go. We got access to the bar on the fourth floor, which is roughly where we're at. Good. All right, let's get ourselves inside. I think it's this door here? No, the bar's the other side. My bad. Here's the grenade gun ammo. We don't have access to that. Shower here. Very nice. Lady in there. I don't know if there's something behind her is the problem. Let's try and lure her away here. Into the shower! Ah, shit. There's a hard point here she won't chase us beyond. Go. Shit! There's nothing here! Oh, wait, so there is the blue herbs. Alright, okay. Alright, I've got to try and get past here. This probably isn't going to work. Apparently this is too far. She will not pers pursue us here. Go! Ah! Oh, and there's reinforcements. We have problems. Shit. Okay, good. We managed to get out of that without taking any damage, which is kind of a miracle. We'll take the blue herbs. Can't be bad. Okay, let's go back to the knife here. Yeah, they occasionally do that. So we need to go beyond to the bar, I think. And then that will lead us eventually to glory. So we'll mosey on across. This has not gone too badly so far. I'm, I'm fairly happy, all things considered. Feels like we could be doing a lot worse. So that's, that's handy. Right, use the key. Ah, shit. Immediate problems. Now, the issue we've also got is I suspect that even if we have max ammo for an item, like the handgun, and we we pick up the handgun rounds, I bet it will still make us pick up the handgun ammo, even though we physically can't take any, so we just lost to, to history. Yeah, I know, right? There's no way we can knife the crowbar, guys. There's just, there's just complete insanity. They have to be shot. There is no... Oh, shit. There's no way around that. We... Uh, there's no way we can even consider trying to do it. So we're going to have to whittle our way through here a little bit. Let's take out this guy on the right first. Got to get those, those critical hits in. Very important. And that way it means we can get to this guy without triggering more problems. I mean, I would probably agree. I'd probably agree. I think this guy has uh, what we're after. Has some goods on him. There we go. Hang on around. Okay, good. I'm okay with that. It's not too bad. Don't know if there's anything else around here. It doesn't appear to be so. The game will occasionally hide items just the weirdest of places. So I'm just having a quick little uh, look around here, but I think we're doing okay so far. I can't feel bad. Like, we've, we've not died yet, so that's good. Yeah, these crowbar guys. Fearsome. That brings us to... So we've got 91 rounds. Okay, so that brings us to the elevator passage. Not the passage elevator. Now break. Dude hiding in there. We're going to... Oh, uh, shit. Again, the thing is, I don't know if there's anything back here worth exploring for, so I think we're just going to turn it down for now. That is the issue we have, is it's hard to know what to, to explore, because I just don't know what's where. If I had the info, if I knew more, it'd be an easier call. There's not even anything here, so that kind of breaks my heart. You think there's a titanium armor in the planters? I don't know. It will explain why there's a lot of zombies around here kind of guarding the area. There's some green herbs. Sh shit. We have problems. We're in it. We're in trouble here. Fuck. All right. We're going to knife this last. I think we're going to probably knife this last dude. 
fucking two terrible shots there. Right, let's get the knife out. Ow! Just insta slash there. Nothing to be done there. Yes. Leon is not covered by either of these things. I completely agree. Shotgun shells. Here we are. Titanium armor. Fucking titanium. What? Madness. We'll take it regardless. Barry is going to leave us. Ah, that would explain it. Okay, that's reasonable. Alright. So we can see looking around here. We can't access in the elevators. They're no good to us right now. I have no idea, believer. This is not the biggest plot hole of this game. Should be noted. Eight rounds. We can we can take some handgun rounds if it's here. We've got some yellow herbs. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We're building up our health. This is good. This is not a terrible start. I know, right? Fucking titanium. It's pretty strong stuff, that, you know. Oh, so who makes armor out of titanium? What? Okay, we can head in here. Shit, that's a dangerous cabin. Allegedly, there's a plot. Allegedly. Ah, here we are. So this is one of the zombie ladies here. Now, I think we probably just have to shoot all poisonous enemies. I don't think we can entertain getting into uh, into melee combat with melee enemies here. So we're going to have to shoot. Did you see that? What? What? She died, and she hit us on the way down. She's like, ah, what? Unfucking believable. I am offended by this. Fuck's sake. Not happy. And she's not even dead. Unbelievable. I bet there's nothing even in here. You know there's nothing in here, right? Nothing I can fucking use! This is the problem we've got here. I have to- I probably have to stop exploring. Because most of our exploring is going to be for ammo that we can't use. Or health items that we're probably going to expend and not get valued return for. You know, for getting back. So I think we have to just ignore exploring for a large part of this game now. Unless we convince there's something we have to do somewhere. Here we go, gonna have to do some uh, hijinks here. I'll have a little look around where I can, but... Ah, shit, he's, got... he's probably got the, uh, the key to the elevator here. Right. Let's lure him in. I think we're gonna soften him up a little bit with a couple of handgun shots, and then we'll get stuck in here. I mean, I'm just following whatever fucking path I'm taking here at the moment. I don't remember this game. Nice! to swap! Here we go. Here's the elevator to use the set of elevators in the center of the ship. Very important. Useful item. The, uh, the elevators in the center are going to be really good for us transporting around here. So that's a, that's a good find. I don't know if there's anything else down here. Probably not. Let's get out of here. So yeah, that will activate the elevators that are back over here. Mercifully, you don't have to uh, use it on one, it will unlocks them all, so this much is good. So yeah, okay, let's write this down. This takes us to the third floor. We don't really know much about the third floor. We haven't really been here yet. But this is the third floor. Right. 
This, I think, can take us also down. I don't know if... I don't know if they all take us down. I need to try and get around here. That doesn't... Shit. Shit. Right, back in. But the music's alright. It's actually not terrible. Ah, uh, that's what I was looking for. Right. I am just kind of exploring around a little bit. Moment. I was trying to get around. Go. Ah, shit. Alright. You have to knife him. I'm going to try. I'm going to brave myself to knife here. Dangerous. Yes. Ow. But now we have our titanium armor. We shouldn't be in too bad a spot. I'm poisoned. I'm fucking poisoned. I'm fucking poisoned. run in this game? I don't even remember how you run. Oh, that's how you run. I have to re the game. I fucked it. Yeah, this poison is brutal. We don't have any... We, we've already got the purple herbs. Which is a full heal on top, so we're kind of, like, committed to... She's stuck. Take him down. It's gone, lady. I'm probably going Poison is just so bad. I haven't put down a safe state yet. All I've got is the safe file, so. Wow, they actually did right there. Okay. Well, there's some more purple herbs, so that probably rectifies. So, yeah, so the poison will not kill us. But I'll put us down to one health point. I believe you see here. Now suddenly we get to bottom health. And suddenly poison runs out. Which is kind of weird. So we can now use like our normal healing items. And it will recover us from the poison. It just like wears out or something. It's kind of weird. Go. Okay, good. But yeah, I think that's going to be where a lot of our... A lot of the ability of this game is going to be is going to be in, like, managing to find ways to dodge around the various... What? Managing to find, like, dodges. Uh, and, and just avoiding the comet in the first place. That's where a lot of the tricks in this game is going to be. Okay, she's dead. So this takes us back down to here. You might remember this part. Head back this way. And there's a load of doors I missed. Not here. <clears throat> now they're going down there takes us to like the um the fridge area and stuff. Which I'm not too worried about right now, although we do kinda need to get down. I bait my way around this dude. Probably not. Wow. Take it! <clears throat> okay, that brings us to here. Here's the restaurant. It's a bad place full of many, many bad things. It's all grenade gun ammo. Well, I mean, the grenade gun's no use to it. I don't think we need to be down here currently. I'm doing a little bit of shopping, if anything. Seeing what items are dotted about. I'm not here to, like, yeah, eventually we have to come here for the plot. We don't have to be here yet. I'm looking to see if there's anything useful. Yeah, there's already led, red ladies in here. It's pretty bad. So just doing a little bit of exploring around. A little bit of shopping. Yeah, we can't actually get in here. Um, I don't think you use the... Yeah, this is used for um, a fuse in the fridge. But we have to get access there first. I don't think I can actually get in there currently. Ooh, that's a nice find. Alright.
awkward. Hmm. Is it? I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm trapped! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. Um, it's gotta be a way to get past him without fighting. Oh, it's... Oh, it's so awkward and so tight. I don't think I can get past him without fighting here. There's a second set of stairs, but that set of stairs is even worse. I think there's two zombies on there. Yeah, there's two zombies here. This is this is this is even worse. Although he starts off on his side, I think getting past is even less likely, so and the, the penalty for failure is even worse, so I think we have to do it from this side. Go 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 Oh I thought I had it! Oh I really thought I had it there. That was a little unlucky I think. Damn. Alright, we have to knife him away. Stay away from me, you foul creature! Okay, we got him. Good. I want to finish this guy off, I'm going to be honest. So we're actually going to go ahead and use... The... I don't know... I can't remember how much enemies respawn this game. We're going to use a couple of bullets just to finish him off and hope that he doesn't ever come back. It may have been a complete waste, we'll see. Okay. So. We need to go into there, which I somehow completely forgot to do. Which is my bad. We should probably return to the staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured that was the case. There's triggers that'll make enemies spawn and shit. But for the time being, he won't, uh, he won't be. We're going to return back up here. We're going to take the elevator because the elevator is going to be a lot safer than walking around here. 